Hello there, welcome to Julie's Christmas Crafts and in this video we're going to be making jewellery from paper and what's even better, it's paper that we're recycling, upcycling from Christmas presents. It can be sort of a thin strip that you've got left and you think that's not going to wrap anything, you can use it for jewellery or even better, paper that people have given you from presents that you've folded up and think I can't really reuse that, well you can reuse it for making this jewellery. Okay, so to start what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and a piece of paper I think in this in this occasion I'm actually going to use this you see how grotty that looks it really doesn't look its best okay but it's going to and what you're going to do is we're aiming to cut a strip like this about this length and it's going to go from being fat at the top tapering right down to a thin pointed end okay that's what we're looking for so I'm gonna start doing it now fat at the end and I'm just gonna again it really is as you like it you know you can you can measure it all out if you want all of your beads identical or you can just go with the flow then you're gonna take this very fat cocktail stick it's a bamboo skewer you can get them in packets like this for about a quid, one or two quid, so they're really, really good. And it also means that everybody in the family can join in, which is really good fun. And you're going to very, very simply, OK, wind your paper around the skewer like this. Make sure that you check every so often that your skewer still moves, because the one thing you don't want to happen is to get it too tight. Why? You won't be able to get it off your skewer. So, and you're just literally going to roly, roly, roly. And the great thing about these is you never actually know um, what it's going to look like because you just never know how the, um, the paper is going to configure. Then you take PVA glue. Don't worry if you're not so neat with this. It dries clear. But you put it like that and then you literally roll it like that, like that, like that. As I say, it's going to dry clear. So don't worry if you've got excess glue. Take it off. Da, 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 da. One perfect little bead. Can you see that? These are some I made earlier. I'll put them in the palm of my hand. And what you then do is you take all of your beads and you have bought, again online or in high street shops, some elasticated string okay elastic string it's called you can get nylon plain nylon uh, but that doesn't uh, that doesn't stretch and it's much better if it stretches I actually prefer the um, the white or the see-through um, and then what you do is you literally thread it through thread it through your beads okay and uh, da -da -da -da. It's really easy to thread because the, the beads have a big hole. You can intersperse them with, again, other beads like this. These are, again, cheap as chips. And what it looks like is, I don't know if you can see my arm there. It looks really, really pretty interspersed with beads and these have you can just do the beads themselves they look lovely if you make them with embossed paper like this is um, these are some I made from this they make really really fat beads really nice fat beads um, and one of the reasons um, that I love this is because it was taught to me and I was lucky enough to go on a cruise once um, to, to the Dominican Republic and there's the la ladies there have formed a group called Repapel and they are making handmade paper and paper jewellery. And not only is it supporting their economy, uh, they're actually bringing money in for their families as well. So it's really good. And I was so lucky to attend one of their workshops and they taught me this. When you've threaded your beads through um, onto, onto the size you want them for a bracelet for yourself or a, or a little girl or whatever or a necklace make something longer a necklace a very good tip is you tie several knots to secure it and then pop a blob of, um, of transparent nail varnish on just to seal it and make it secure and uh, as I say you've got a wonderful array of paper jewellery um, interspersed with a few odd beads you might have um, fantastic value and a really really unique and novel way to use up old Christmas wrapping paper Merry Christmas <laughs> 